Nintendo's Trickster here, and today I am again commentating a Speedman video I made, this time a almost realistic portrait of an original character of mine. Sadly, uh, three and a half hours of the recording got lost, as you can see there, but if you want to see me draw an eye, then I have a separate video of that, and that's basically all I drew, except for an, also an ear, but I ended up erasing there and redrawing it, as you can see here. Anyway, this uh, original character is something I sort of came up with while I was drawing. I had a basic idea in my head, but it just evolved more and more. So they uh, are sort of an alternative universe uh, where uh, they are they are which means they are born outside of the binary. Uh, like their sexual genitals aren't doesn't belong under male or the male and female umbrella and. Uh, there's quite a lot of people, but it's just something that's sort of stigmatized, so we don't talk about it, but people like that exist. There's nothing wrong with that either, and belong in a world where uh, intersex people are basically considered gods, and uh, this character uh, in especially is also because of the unnatural color of their eyes, and also hair. They have naturally uh, white hair, but have sort of dyed it, as you can see when I get towards the end, but this is supposed to be their natural eye color, and there exist people in this world with violet eyes, but it's extremely rare, and it is a mutation. And basically, this character is, of course, good as it all, kind of hates that, because uh, they have anxiety, and doesn't like all the attention they're getting, and also they don't like people want them to heal their kids, but they can't do that, because they're just human. And just hate that. So I have a kind of sad look. And here you can see I kind of copied pasted the other, other eye and I changed the uh, shading because it took me so long and I couldn't make it look right. Yeah, that is a perfectly acceptable thing to do because I did draw the original eye. Copy pasting your own stuff, there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't copy paste someone else's stuff. Also, when I draw this, I do come back and forth to everything a lot. Uh, but this is actually my first attempt at anything realism besides just that I digital. I did draw realism a couple of years ago. That was like my main method, but like this, it was kind of idealized. Like it's not realism, realism. It's more like the perfect person would uh, know what we would call imperfections, like sits or freckles. N not that I think of those uh, imperfections myself. I have a lot of sits. I have freckles. I think freckles are freaking adorable, but I did it this way simply because that's easier drawing pores and uh, like those black dots that everything ha everyone has on their nose is quite difficult. Drawing perfect human beings, not that I would personally call them perfect. I don't think anyone is perfect. Uh, but it's easier, so I did it that way, because, again, like I said, this is my first attempt. Um, but, honestly, I'm quite proud of this. Uh, it took me a hell of a long time, a lot of drawing sessions. Currently, this is my fifth drawing session right here. As you can see, I think this is actually the one where I, w uh, I was sitting downstairs watching the telly while I was drawing this. Uh, or maybe that was the next one. I can't remember. Uh, no, I think it was this one. And then the next one, when I, I was sitting in bed watching YouTube on the telly on my room, which used to be downstairs. Um, it was kind of annoying seeing, uh, you can see this especially later, how much time I used on um, their right eye, uh, your and mine left. Because you can't actually see it in the uh, original uh, final drawing. Um, yeah, this is where I start really drawing the eye, I think. Uh, maybe? Oh, God. I just watched this and I can't remember when. Yeah, this is where I start drawing the eye, like, adding a lot of detail. Uh, I used the burn and dodge uh, tool a lot, which is really useful for adding, you know, like, detail to pupils, I think. Um, and also the eyebrows. You can't see the eyebrows in the uh, final drawing as well, and I hated drawing those eyebrows. I think they actually look quite horrible, so I'm kind of glad they didn't end up the original drawing. But yeah, uh, though I like that I did draw the eyebrows, because that helped me with the shading. And the shading was uh, difficult. But I'm actually quite proud of how the nose ended up, and when I was drawing the nose, I was like, oh crap, I won't be able to make this look good. But after a while, I actually started to look quite good. 
Um, also, of the air, I go back to that air so many times. Yeah, eyelashes. I hate eyelashes. I drew that in, uh, wrote that in for you guys to see, but uh, I actually drew only on one eye and then copy pasted it. But that eye that was the copy paste that didn't end up the original drawing. Also, this is so annoying to see. Because this didn't end up in the final uh, drawing, I completely changed the hair and just how much time I used in this hair, but I hated it, it looked horrible. So I redrew it and just seeing me use this much time on it, I used several hours on this. But yeah, that is how art works really, you have to redraw, if you're not happy with something you gotta scrap a couple hours with work and that's why you should sketch things out more than I did. I just started out drawing and I, I had a semi idea in my head. I, I knew, I, ne I never drew the, um, uh, their, what is it, right hair, because I knew that was going to be covered up by the hair, but everything else I drew everything. Well, I didn't uh, shade the forehead, of course, as you could see, because I knew the hair would be covering that. And here I'm finally drawing the neck. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know why it took me so long, to be honest. I just never got around to drawing it. And of course, I'm trying to make the face actually look good with the neck. Um, oh yeah, I, n I was about to mention, um, with them being intersex, you know, in the beginning, the face was really, really feminine. I tried to add in some masculine features, like, as you can see, an Adam's apple and uh, some hint of a cheekbones. Uh, but it, it ended up being a very feminine face, but I don't mind too much. And um, yeah, I'm making custom brushes. I, I do that, especially when drawing hair. I make my own custom brushes to give sort of more realistic uh, texture to the hair. Uh, then drawing every strand individually, I used to like a speckled brush. Uh, so it sort of, you can draw multiple hair strands in just one stroke. And it looks a lot better, trust me. And then the background, this is also a uh, custom brush. So close yet so far. <laughs> Yeah, those are me. It is, is me irritating myself that the Photoshop is kind of glitching, but here I'm drawing a new hairstyle. I'm actually uh, blocking in the color, because uh, I was actually using a tutorial for this, but I'd end up sort of scrapping the tutorial, because I found out it didn't really fit my drawing style. But it did quite help me with the idea of blocking in the hair first, because if your hair doesn't look good blocked in, just in one color, it won't look good f f finalized either. But here you can see I'm drawing into sort of my style more, using my custom brush, and here I'm adding color to it. I drew it in um, a grayscale first, and then I added color to it afterwards. And I quite like this color. I do end up going back to it quite a lot, but this is basically how it ends up looking. And now I'm doing the shading and stuff. Yeah, I still have a long way to go. I think this is close to Yeah, now I am sort of trying to blend it more. Because you can see there's a lot of, you can see, I mean, I, no, what's it called again? Ah, I can't remember what it's called, I sort of like blend everything. Yeah, I'm experimenting with overlays, like how to mid blend the colors. But here I'm trying to add pores. So I did try to add pores because I know humans have pores. But you can't see them as well in the final drawing. But I'm so glad I did it. And I think I go over the hair again a bit. Yeah, now I'm at my final drawing session, which is really short. So as you can see here, I'm calling it done here. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Oh, God, I really, really, really love you guys. Keeping out through a 10 minute video. Um, yeah, me. Yeah, you can find all my speedrun videos there. And um, I'll put an annotation there. And... Yes, yes, please consider leaving a like. It really does help me, and it keeps me motivated. Uh, like, if I spend hours like this... Okay, this video, uh, this drawing took me over 25 hours. So, so, like, it would really help if you guys leave a like and just... Yeah, but yes, I will see you guys next time.